think she's really brave. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know how brave I actually am. <laughs> I don't feel brave. You're here. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. You showed up. Yeah. Showing up's happened. I guess I'll say first, ayahuasca is not fucking around. <laughs> um, it's like I have this uh, mean girl inside of me trying to push me down. And the ayahuasca or the, the spirit just kept <laughs> telling her to stop it. <laughs> Shut up <laughs> and stop it. <laughs> and Matt had my hand or something and I'm like, oh, where's the love? Like, I, where'd it go? And then it, I said the words, I think it's lost. <clears throat> I was just crying and it just kept coming and coming and coming and coming and then it was just like all this pain and fear and feeling of lost love. You know, my dad died when I was 11 and, you know, not necessarily being able to grieve for him maybe the way that I needed to or, you know, whatever the case may be and all of the pain and sorrow and all of it was just pouring out of me and then my moments with you. It was like, as it was happening, I was conflicted about, cause you know, there's this voice in my head saying, you're being selfish, you're, you're occupying his time. Like, you know, you're not being brave enough. You should be doing this on your own and all this stuff. And I kept having to just let that go, let that go and accept and, and love that you were there for me and accept and love that I need you, you know, because I've been afraid to admit that. I need you, you need me, and that's okay. 